All right, Mike, over to you. Thanks, Nicole. We're giving you the first alert to another risk for showers as we approach the end of the work week and the weekend. Our medium range models here, long range models showing the potential for showers on Saturday. This just adding to what has been a very soggy year in the Hartford area. We're already five inches over what we would typically see in an entire calendar year. September, we picked up over 12 inches of rain. Uh, which is the second month this year where we've seen over 10 inches of rain. The other one was July. Foliage starting to pop up across Connecticut too, and with some more chilly nights in the forecast, uh, we should see an increased coverage in the amount of, uh, of yellows and reds that are, are beginning to flare up, even to our north, really not much in the way of fall foliage just yet. A beautiful sunrise across Connecticut. Here's a live look in our iCam in Waterbury, 61 degrees in the Brass City, and a live look in our iCam here in stores. A camera slightly out of focus here, but in the distance, we can still see some of that link Lingering wildfire smoke visibility slightly impacted by that as is air quality moderate air quality in the eastern half of the state western half of the state still reporting good air quality and we'll see that fluctuate throughout the day as uh, first Lord futurecast highlights another push of wildfire smoke this is all near surface smoke it moves in later today and will linger on and off through the remainder of the afternoon and unfortunately into the day tomorrow too. So while today we get to enjoy rather bright conditions, temperatures back in the 70s, it's still uh, the, the big story centers around the lingering smoke and the impacts from that. Thankfully, any impacts to air quality do appear to be minor. High pressure really the dominating factor for the next few days, next several days tomorrow with more of a westerly wind direction. We should be able to bring temperatures up into the 80s statewide, challenging records both inland and at the shoreline. By Wednesday, high pressure starts to shift a little bit farther to the east. That will help to bring onshore flow back. So while Wednesday still looks warm, perhaps a few degrees cooler than where we end up tomorrow. We start the day off in the 50s tomorrow, recovering to the 80s in the afternoon, a 30 degree spread from the low temperature to the high temperature expected. Uh, so a good day to dress in layers, likely jackets necessary for the morning. By the afternoon, we certainly will not need them. In the tropics, we have uh, remnant low Rena there and Philippe, which is still a tropical storm. Other than that, really not much else going on in the tropics. Things are a bit quieter right now, which is a good dew points though. Locally, check this out. We're in the muggy range uh, into Wednesday and possibly back up there Friday and Saturday. So we'll have to watch Friday and Saturday closely because as with uh, higher dew points, a bit more moisture in the atmosphere and saturated soils, you know, if we bring more showers through, especially if we can get some heavier rain in the mix, perhaps we will be talking about flooding yet again. Forecast low temperatures tonight, about 50 to 55 for most upper 40s across northeastern and northwestern Connecticut on the first alert seven day here. Records possible tomorrow by Wednesday warm Thursday warm Friday showers giving you the first alert to some lingering showers into Saturday tomorrow's record 85 for the Hartford area set back in 1919 that's a long-standing record Bridgeport's record of 80 was set in the year 2000 we're forecasting 84 inland 80 at the shoreline so even if we don't quite get to the records we will be just shy of them again the warmth sticks around Wednesday and Thursday and behind the front this weekend we will see some significant changes from Saturday upper 60s near 70 degrees dropping to around 60 degrees by Sunday afternoon so certainly much cooler feeling much more fall like as we end the week but for now a bit of a summer preview or rather a, a summer reminder Nicole as we start off October with temperatures in the 80s. All right. Well, we'll just enjoy it and then go back to our sweaters and then go back to our flip flops and, you know, welcome to New England. Thank